What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today in this episode of Ben's Tech Advice for new iOS users that are might have just got their new iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, any iOS device from Apple and are still trying to get a gist on how to use it. Well, one of the tech advice that I have for you guys is automatically setting your apps to update themselves. So in the past, you will normally get a badge uh, uh, such as like this with the number count and that basically gives you uh, the number of apps uh, that you have uh, that need to update or it could be for other things such as in this case how many emails I got. Yes, I know over 200 emails. That's with two accounts in there but only one account. Most of them is unread. That's from YouTube. Or it could be um, you got a notification, how many notifications you got within an app. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set your iOS apps to update automatically. So that way you don't have to keep going into the app store like we you, we did in the past. And then uh, automatically update them and so on and so forth. It'll update and you'll never even notice them. Like I didn't even notice that the apps are updating until... Uh, when I went to that app again after a while of not using it, then I noticed that there are some changes, which I think is a really unique feature. So what you're gonna do is go into settings, and you're gonna scroll down to, excuse me, iTunes and App Store, like so. Excuse me for lowering the camera. My email address is shown, and then you just keep scrolling down and. You want to go to automatic downloads, so you have like a couple options for automatic downloads. You got like automatically download your music to all your other devices, automatically download apps. So let's say you download it on one device and if you have everything enabled on all of your devices, then the next device that you pick up, it'll download them too. Same thing with books, if you have iBooks and here's updates right here. So if it's not green, you want to switch it so that it's green, so that way it's enabled, and then your apps will update without you even knowing them. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day now, and take care.